working at the edge of knowledge. It's a thrill, it's very exciting. You never know which day it is where you see a new set of data that no one else has seen before and you start to suddenly understand how something might work. My research group studies the brain and we're interested in understanding the language of the brain to develop new treatments for people with psychiatric illnesses. So many psychiatric illnesses, ultimately the profound debilitating symptoms are the impairment in the ability to connect. There are now first insights that there are specific rhythmic and network activity patterns in one brain trying, if you will, to simulate the other brain. So when you look at the quartet playing music, clearly there's lots of interaction. Ultimately, that should be reflected at a synchronization or a shared timing between these brains. So that, together with my passion for music, gave us the idea that we could go and start to understand what happens in those four brains in a classical quartet. One of the striking things we see in those data is when we have the four musicians play music together, the amount by which the different brains are coordinating is about twice as high than when they're just together sitting there. So if we can understand this, this is really exciting. And I think that's really a new frontier in neuroscience to go from a focus on an individual to a focus on a network of people, a network of brains. And I think that's the future of neuroscience. That's the first step towards developing new types of treatment that could be very safe and potentially very effective in restoring some of these most debilitating symptoms in psychiatry.